Hello, Bell's Palsy ears. So today I'm here to answer a question that I see online all the time and I'm, and I'm asked uh, if I'm by chance the first person to see the patient with Bell's Palsy. Um, and that is, what kind of doctor should I see when I have Bell's Palsy? So my advice would be to see at first any doctor, uh, really, because I think uh, time is not on your side. If you, if you wait when you first get the symptoms, uh, the longer uh, that inflammation of the, the facial nerve is going on, the longer you will be dealing with the symptoms. So uh, get to your general practitioner. Uh, I think some, some people end up going to the ER because they are so freaked out and I don't blame them. So um, that happens. So you could see an urgentist there at the, at the ER. Um, if I think those are, would be the, the first two, I would start really with your general practitioner, your family doctor or internal medicine. And um, if I think uh, when, when you recheck with the doctor or if you feel like after a few weeks, and of course um, you should be actively working on what's going on with facial exercises and, and physical therapy, but if you, you really do not see any improvement after all these weeks, uh, I would ask your physician, or if you can see them directly, I would probably consult with a, uh, an ENT, um, an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Uh, this, this kind of doctor can help you, as well as possibly a neurologist. So um, those are the, the two other, other ones to, I think, see not necessarily early on, but down the road if, things are not improving. For example, I've, um, some people can be diagnosed with Bell's palsy initially and uh, uh, especially in a ER where it's so hectic and sometimes they don't have time to do a thorough exam. Uh, sometimes it, the, the true diagnosis can be missed and that's when I would probably um, check with an ENT and a neurologist which are more uh, familiar with um, Bell's palsy. So I hope that helps and um, have a good one.